All right, chapter three, section six, review. Okay, three variables, three equations. So we're going to label them equations one, two, and three. By inspection, we're going to use the first equation twice. Remember, when we use elimination of three variables, three equations, we can work in pairs to get down to two variables and two equations, and then down to one variable and one equation. So we're going to use equation one twice. It's x minus y minus 2z equals 4. x minus y minus 2z equals 4. I cannot stress this enough. Check your work. 2. Negative x plus 2y plus z equals 1. And equation 3 is negative x plus y minus 3z equals 11. So let's do equation, let's add 1 and 3 real quick to get a new equation. x minus x is 0. <clears throat> negative y plus y is 0, so we're, we're lucky here. Negative 2z minus 3z, that's negative 5z, equals 4 plus 11 is 15. So we're set to go. So divide each side by negative 5, so I'm going to get z equals negative 3. Alright, <clears throat> let's go back and work equation 2 and 1. Let's sum those to get equation 5. x minus x, they cancel, so that's 0. Negative y plus 2y is y. Negative 2z plus z is negative z. 4 plus 5, sorry, 4 plus 1 is 5. So I get y minus z equals 5. <coughs> Alright, now let's just plug in what we know. z equals 3. So we're going to rewrite this new equation 5. y minus negative 3 equals 5. All we did was plug in negative 3 for the z. So that's going to be y plus 3 equals 5. Subtract 3 to each side. y is going to equal 2. <clears throat> so I have z and I have y. Now let's solve for x. So it doesn't matter which equation we use, but let's go ahead and use equation 1. So I get x minus y minus 2z equals 4. So x minus 2 minus 2 times negative 3 equals 4. So I get x minus 2, negative 2 times negative 3 is plus 6 equals 4. So some like terms, I get x plus 4 equals 4. So I subtract 4 to each side, I get x equals 0. And we can double check our work. <coughs> And it's going to work out. So our ordered set is x, y, z, which would be 0, 2, negative 3. Easy enough. Next equation. Next equation. All right, we've got x minus 2y plus 3z equals 12. 2x minus y minus 2z equals 5. 2x plus 2y minus z equals 4. So I'm going to multiply the top equation by negative 2. So I'm going to get equation, new equation number one is <coughs> negative 2x plus 4y minus 6z equals negative 24. Okay, equation two as it's written is 2x minus y minus 2z equals 5. And equation three is written as 2x plus 2y minus z equals 4. <laughs> okay, we're going to eliminate the x's. And equation 1 is the only one that has a negative 2x. So we're going to use it twice. So equation 1 twice. Negative 2x plus 4y minus 6z equals negative 24. Write it again. Negative 2x plus 4y minus 6z equals negative 24. So equation 2 is 2x minus y minus 2z equals 5. And equation 3 is 2x plus 2y minus z equals 4. <clears throat> Let's do the first one on the left. The x's are going to cancel. 4y minus y is going to be 3y. Negative 6z minus 2z is negative 8z. Negative 24 plus 5 is negative 19. So we got a new equation. Equation 4. 
3y minus 8z equals negative 19. Okay, going to the next equation, equation 5. The x's cancel. 4y plus 2y is 6y. Negative 6z minus z is negative 7z. Negative 24 plus 4 is negative 20. So we can write that in an equation. 6y minus 7z equals negative 20. <clears throat> okay, let's multiply the top equation by negative 2. So I get negative 6y plus 16z equals negative 38. X would be positive 38. So we're going to slide over our next equation. 6y minus 7z equals negative 20. So we add these together. <clears throat> we're going to get 9z equals 18. So divide each side by 9, we get z equals 2. Okay. We're going to plug into equation 4 and solve for y. So I get 3y minus 8z equals nine, negative 19. So 3y minus 8 times 2 equals negative 19. So 3y minus 16 equals negative 19. Add, thir add 16 each side. I'm going to get 3y equals negative 3. So y is equal to negative 1. <coughs> <coughs> so now we'll actually go back to the original equation. And we'll use that first equation to solve for x. So I get x minus 2y plus 3z equals 12. So x minus 2 times negative 1 plus 3 times 2 equals 12. So x, negative 2 times negative 1 is x plus 2 plus 3 times 2 is 6 equals 12. So that's x plus 8 equals 12. So I'm subtract 8 to me side, x equals 4. So it's x, y, z. So my solution set is 4, comma, negative 1, comma, 2. <clears throat> OK, on to the next problem. <clears throat> a company places $1 million in three different accounts. It places part in a short-term note paying 4.5% per year, twice as much in a government bond paying 5%, and the rest in a utility paying 4%. The income after one year is 45500 How much did the company place in each account? Well, <clears throat> we know we had a short term. We know we had a government bond. And we know we had a utility bond. And we know all three of those together equaled $1 million. So there's the first equation. <clears throat> It plays part in short term and twice as much in growth. So 2s is equal to g. <clears throat> and the last equation is we know the short term bond paid 0.45%. The government bond paid 5 And the utilities paid 4%. And we know we made 4,500, so 45,500. So there's my three equations. But well, we're set for substitution as this is. So wherever we see add G, we're going to replace it with 2S. So there's our equation 1, there's our equation 2. So equation 1 now becomes S plus, instead of G, we're going to put 2S plus U equals 1 million. So equation number one becomes 3s plus u equals 1 million. <clears throat> OK. So now let's work on equation two. So let's rewrite it. 0.045s 
plus 0 0.05 times 2s plus 0 0.04u equals 45,500. <clears throat> so I get 0 0.045s plus 0.1s plus 0.04u equals 45,500. <clears throat> so we can sum like terms. So we're going to get 0.145s plus 0.04u equals 45,000. <clears throat> If we multiply this one by 100, it'll make it a little bit easier for us to look at. 14.5s plus 4u equals 45,500. Oh, yeah, times by 100. So I got 4,555,000. So now I have two equations. <clears throat> Let's highlight them. Now we can do a couple of things. We could substitute, or we can multiply the top equation by 4. So let's multiply the top equation by 4 and subtract. So we're going to multiply the top equation by 4. So let's rewrite some stuff over here since we're going to have some room. So my modified 1 equation was 3s plus u equals 1 million. <clears throat> My modified second equation was 14.5s plus 4u equals 4.500,000. So let's multiply equation 1 by 4. So I'm going to get 12.0s plus 4u equals 4 million. So let's subtract. So I'm going to get 2.5s, the u's are going to cancel, equal to $550,000. So s equals what? So I got $550,000 divided by 2.5. So s equals $220,000. So we put $220,000 in short-term bonds. Okay. So we can find U pretty quick then, can't we? We have an equation. 3S plus, so I got my equation. 3S plus U equals 1 million. So that's $220,000 times 3 equals $660,000 plus U equals $1 million. <clears throat> so that's going to leave me U equals three hundred and forty thousand dollars the sum of all three <clears throat> is one million dollars so don't forget s plus u okay plus g equals one million so subtract <clears throat> one million Our S was 220,000. My U was 340,000. So we don't know what our growth was. <coughs> <coughs> so you can do a little bit of math on your calculator if you need it. So you combine like terms. So you're going to get 500,000, 560,000 plus G equals 1 million. So G is going to equal $440,000. There you go. Three equations, 